Okay, so I'm making this video to show you what to do if you have a dead Greenworks battery. Um, although you should be able to do this with really any lithium ion battery, but at your own risk, I'm not responsible for you catching anything on fire or hurting yourself. So this battery, um, apparently the voltage got too low for the charger to recognize it. So if I put this in the charger, it just flashes red. So it's not recognizing this. It's saying there's a problem. You've got something plugged in, but I don't know what to do with it. And this being the bad one, if I put this battery in, it immediately recognizes it. So what I did to confirm that is used a voltmeter on these and if you, this has a minus and a plus. So if you read across this, you will see it's currently sitting at, I'm trying to do this one handed, sorry. Glare, 40 volts. Which apparently, um, obviously, it's still a good battery. It's just too low for this charger to recognize. This one reads um, 83 volts. So what we're going to do is you can actually charge this with a DC power supply if you have one, or you can just use another battery. So I'm just going to create some jumpers, jump across this to this, minus to minus, plus to plus and we should be able to charge this battery and get it working. Okay, so I took the cases off of these. These do have um, little Torx security screw bits, which I happen to have. So if you have those, you can take it off. You don't have to, you just have to get something to get down into these tabs, um, you know, metal tab or whatever you use. So, but I created these jumper wires. So this is the bad battery. This is the good battery. I'm just going to hook these up together. Um, again, minus to minus, positive to positive, and let these charge for um, 15, 20 minutes and see if I can bring this voltage back up enough that the charger will recognize it. And then we should have two good batteries and saved a couple hundred bucks uh, from buying a new battery. So you're going to see a little spark when you hook this up, a little tiny spark. And now they are charging, and we're going to give that, um, like I said, 15 or so minutes and see what happens. So these have been hooked up together for about, I don't know, less than five minutes. And honestly, if I didn't remember on my own, I wouldn't know which was the good and which was the bad. Because now they both flash two, two bars, which before the bad battery will when you press the check voltage button wouldn't register anything no lights came on so i already have after five minutes what i i think are going to be two good batteries that this charger is going to recognize and bring to 80 volts so i'm gonna let them sit for a couple more minutes um but that 15 minutes isn't even seem like it's going to be necessary so pretty awesome all right so i've got the cases put back on the battery and I'm just going to do a quick voltage check. So we've got this one at 72. I don't know if that's the good or the bad. Not easy to do one-handed here, sorry. And I got this one at 76. So I'm assuming the one on the left was the one that was 40 volts when we started. This is the one that was 83. Let's charge the other battery. So let's plug these bad boys into the charger. I'm gonna plug the higher one in first. Charger recognizes it. Starting to charge. Here it fired up. And the moment of truth. Did we just save 200 bucks or whatever these batteries are by jumping it? And 
will this now charge? Look at that. Boom. Two batteries fixed with a good battery. Revive the bad battery. Again, not responsible if you blow anything up, but that's what worked for me. Thanks.